I had no idea I was going to find a gem inside of this box. Wait until you see what I find and what it sold for. Let's go to some garage sales. Hey, Bubble Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. So it's been a while since I've put out a garage sale video. Super excited about this one. I found some really great stuff. This sale right here was okay. I found some decent stuff to sell, but wait until the end of the video. All right, I did pick up this little bear. Um, he had on this Arizona jeans bibs which i thought were super cute and then the little praying bear love picking up plush if i can get it really cheap usually like to pay a dollar or less for my plush these boxes i did buy i use those to ship jewelry in so um, just gives a nice little presentation and protects the jewelry during shipment always pick those up when i see them at garage sales thought about getting these but decided to leave them behind um, would you guys pick those up or would you uh, have left them behind? All right. There was lots of little knickknacks and stuff here. This right here I did pick up. It's a major bread and butter. However, I did sell a lion for I think it was around $75. Let me pop up a screen share for you. Okay, so that is my screenshot of a lion mold that I sold for $75. That was definitely a bolo. Most of them do not go for that much. That was just a lucky find. Um, but I do pick them up. They are a nice bread and butter. Long tail usually. All right. Oops. I think I dropped things a couple times at this sale. Uh, lots of just knickknacks, different things. Uh, I guess as I'm going through here, let me know if you see something that you would have picked up. I did pick up this jewelry. I haven't done anything with it yet. I am really bad about picking up jewelry and setting it to the side and never listing it. I think it's because it's small and it doesn't take up a lot of space. And I have a tendency to ignore it because I don't want to research it. So um, I like to get my bigger items or items that are worth more listed quicker. This little Starbucks sippy cup, I wish now that I would have got it. Do you guys ever do that? You look back and, well, I guess if you're a YouTuber, you might, but if not, you wouldn't. But um, I look back and I watch my videos and I'm like, why didn't I buy that? So thinking I should have bought the little Starbucks sippy cup. All right. So just kind of checking out the tables. I did not get that. For the clocks, I usually look for things that do not have batteries. My husband likes old clocks and stuff like that. So if they don't have batteries, I'll check them out. These beer signs, I think they're beer signs. I don't know a whole lot about those. I know some of them can do really well, but I also know a lot of them don't go for much at all. So we're just going to keep going through these tables here. Now for mugs... I don't pick up a whole lot of mugs because they're pretty pricey to ship. And if it's a bread and butter item, you know, they're spending $10, $15 on a mug and they're almost paying the same amount for shipping. So I am selective on um, which mugs I do pick up. One mug that I always pick up is Heartstone. It is a bread and butter typically. Sometimes you can get 30 to 40 bucks out of some of the special ones. But I just am drawn to the Heartstone mugs, and I find them all the time locally in my area. I did pick up this turtle. It is a Fisher Price Spell and Speak, and um, I did put a video in my description that shows how that works. So when I pick up things like that, that gives me um, video footage for my other channel, Reseller Testing Bolo Products. I did pick up the Moby. Uh, that is listed. Okay, so they've got the jewelry case here. There's some nice jewelry in here. Uh, some of it was priced higher than I wanted to pay. So um, 
moved on to the next garage sale here. And this was just like a little tin full of jewelry. I can't remember what I paid for it, um, but I did end up grabbing the entire tin. Um, haven't decided what I'm going to do with it. Haven't listed anything yet. Um, I was kind of just picking through it at the sale to make sure I wanted to pick it up. But if I remember correctly, the price was definitely okay. And I was willing to pay that. There's some cute little Halloween earrings in there. I may bring those to whatnot. Haven't completely decided yet what I'm going to do with all of that jewelry there. So if you're not following me on whatnot, you can follow me over there, Bolo Buddies. And I do have a link down in the description of the video. If you are not on whatnot, you can get a $10 credit if you use my link. And then they also give me a $10 credit to shop. I did pick up some of these little unicorn figurines. Again, it might be something I bring over to whatnot. Um, just some cute little trinkets. And the lady was like standing there right beside me. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I was asking her for prices on things and um, she was just kind of watching what I was doing. Now, I did pick this up because Danielle over at Yard Sales and Dreams sold one of those for big money and um, I had it in my money pile and I was cleaning out the garage and I donated it. <gasps> I'm wondering now if it was a huge mistake, but the clock did not work and I did not want to mess with it. So let me know if you guys would have uh, donated that or tried to get the clock fixed. The little salt and pepper shaker that you saw, I did pick that up. That I'm hoping it's going to be a nice little bolo. All right, we are at the next sale. Nope, I'm sorry, this is the same sale. It's out front. So I'm just kind of looking through here to see if there's anything else I want to get. Um, lots of people at this sale, so I was trying to look quickly and get the goodies. All right, now I'm at the next sale. So you, t I talked about this at the beginning. You guys, I was literally going through this box and I think things were either a quarter or 50 cents each. I think it says on the box. Hopefully I pull back and you can see. Look at this bunny. I sold that for $199.99. And thankfully, when I gave her the items, she wrapped them all up individually for me. So yeah, thankfully, yeah, it was a quarter, quarter a piece. And there's so many little knickknacks in here that I wish I would have picked up. Um, I'm showing you screenshots of the items I did pick up, but there was a lot of cute things that I left behind. I should have just bought the entire box. What do you guys think about that bunny? 25 cents into $199. Love it. I was super excited about that. I honestly had no clue when I bought it. I just picked up quite a few things from this box. That little bunny mug, I should have got that. So cute. All right. So I got most of the items, but I mean a quarter each. I should have got everything. This sale was amazing, but it was full of breakables. And you guys know I kind of shy away from those. And uh, I'm going to show you other items that I picked up at this sale, but I'm also going to show you the tables and you're probably going to be screaming at your TV or phone or whatever you're watching. Oh my goodness. Such a great sale. And the people were so nice. Yeah, I left some stuff behind. I did pick that up. It's a little spoon rest um, by McCoy. And that is that little, um, it's a little music box. All right, I think I probably should have got all of these as well. And I don't think I got any of them. I could have lotted them up and sold them as a bundle. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know if they were a dollar each or a dollar for all of them. Oh my goodness. It was probably a dollar for everything. Super cute little. Um, this here, I'm not sure what these were, but I did not pick them up. And there was a lot of um, glassware. These are McDonald's. Um, I did pick up this tiki mug and I have that listed and it does have an issue. Should I have got the other tiki mugs? Um, I'm thinking now that I probably should have. Uh, 
they were a dollar. I mean, I should have got them, right? But these seemed more like uh, not as old. The green one, I think, is old. That, I don't know, it's another like tiki glass. I think I looked that one up, but there was some really cool stuff here. 50 cents. I mean, why didn't I get that? Why didn't I get it, you guys? Ah, I should have got it. Oh my goodness, shaking my head at myself right now. Just probably treasures upon treasures. And I think I second guess myself so much because of that little bunny. I mean, they didn't know it was a bolo, obviously, because they had it priced at a quarter. All right, I did grab those. I always pick up the little Wade England figures. They are typically long tail and don't sell for a whole lot, but I do pick them up. They had a whole bunch of turtle items. Um, there's a whole bag of turtles. I did grab those. I haven't done anything with those yet. Um, I haven't decided I may bring some of those to whatnot. I don't know why I didn't grab these cute owls. Oh my goodness, so cute. I did grab one owl. <laughs> I grabbed this one. I don't know why I picked that one to grab, but I think I should have probably bought every single owl on the table. Look at them. They're super cute. And I love owls. Owls and turtles. Ah, should have got them all. So we've got some mugs and different things here. I was at this sale for over an hour. Um, and yeah, just watching this back. This is Longenberger. I always pick up Longenberger. I don't know why I didn't get that. I did get this Fitz and Floyd um, little pig. I think it holds like crackers and stuff. But you guys tell me, those of you that are into glass, um, oh, goodness. How many bolos did I miss here? That was Pyrex. And I know some Pyrex can be big money, so who knows if I just sat down a million-dollar Pyrex. I was checking it all out. But, you know, they, they were kind of watching me, and I didn't want to be sitting there looking everything up. I did look a few things up. I was trying to be subtle. Those are really cool. Um, I did just recently sell some tumblers for big money, but I don't like shipping them. I did grab this little dog, and I was able to get the ink off the bottom with a dry erase marker. So now I am at the next sale, and I started digging through this plush, and I found a ton of Scentsy Buddies, um, and I went ahead and bought those. I'm trying to remember if it was 50 cents a piece or a dollar a piece for the plush. I think it was a dollar a piece. So I've got this little Scentsy Buddy owl, super cute. Uh, the thing is with the Scentsy Buddies that clip on, they lose their scent. So you do have to, sometimes I don't know if people really care or not. But um, lots of plush here. And I was just grabbing them. She actually asked me. I think she caught me recording. She said something about it, but I can't remember even how I responded. <laughs> I hate being put on the spot. Um, I don't wear a body cam. I just use my phone. This is a Build-A-Bear, so I did pick that up. Yeah, I think they were a dollar each. There is one item that I pull out of here that already sold over on Poshmark. I do cross post my items using List Perfectly. Um, if you guys are interested in checking that out, there is a demo video down in the description. And if you want to try it out, you can use coupon referral code BOLOBUDDIES, all one word, to get 30% off your first month of List Perfectly. I always say, you know, when you cross post, you're going to have more eyes on your items, which is going to give you a better chance to sell that item. So the Disney Store plush car I sold over on Poshmark, it sold quicker there. Sometimes items can be flooded on eBay and they'll just do better on those smaller platforms. All right, so lots of, uh, lots of nice plush here. And that one right there, I believe I just sold that one for 15, the little unicorn. Um, let me go grab a screenshot. Nope, it was a jelly cat unicorn from another garage sale that I had picked up, so it was not the right one. So disregard. 
just wanted to make sure I was giving you guys accurate information. I did pick up this little deer. Um, I love picking up little animals and stuff like that. Um, really, really cute. And more than likely just going to be a bread and butter item. And little octopus. That's another one of the um, Scentsy Buddy clip-ons. And there are a bunch of books. If I remember correctly, she said that she was a teacher. So um, I did end up buying some of the books with the CDs and I will pop up screen shares of those, but I don't have any footage of me grabbing those. So um, I was digging in this plush for quite a while. Lots of good stuff in there. And then I also found an amazing bolo and it's coming soon here are the books so this one sold right away i put that up for auction it was a pop-up book and then these are um, a set of the old lady who swallowed and some other books with the cds that go with them so i do have those listed over here these were five each or 40 for all um, a lot of them had condition issues they are Disney Store plush. I do pretty well with these, but I do try to stay at like $3 or less for those. I did pick up the Merida. She threw that one in with my order, so was happy to move that one quickly. I think it was, what, $21 for her? And uh, again, that was Disney Store brand. Okay, so now we are looking at a bunch of Scentsy items. I think she was like a... A consultant because I got all of the Scentsy Buddies and then I did pick up some of these. I didn't get them all. They're the warmers. I want to say I paid five dollars a piece for those. So a little higher than I typically like to pay but um, I usually do pretty good with those. These were decorations and more decorations. There is a whole tote full of scrapbooking items and I'm going to show you it but I only like she was hovering so I only get a quick shot of it but the whole tote was $75 and I was going to walk and she's like how about all of it for 50 uh, I did end up buying all of the stuff for $50 and it's all creative memories and you guys I have done surprisingly well with it. I wasn't sure what to expect. I knew that I had sold some in the past that had done okay, but um, I just wasn't expecting the sell-through rate to be so, so fast. And I did price the items competitively. So these are all items that I currently have listed. And then I'm going to show you what has sold. So stay tuned for that. Um, but right now I'm just showing you the listings and I have a whole bunch of stickers and other items that I have not even listed yet. Um, this was a massive amount of items. I didn't realize how massive it was until uh, I started listing it and I'm like, oh my goodness, what a great deal I got. Okay, so now we're going to get into the sold listings. All of these items have already sold um, just incredible. Two of the items sold to somebody and I think she was a reseller because her store was stocked with this stuff. So I may have undersold it. Okay. So these belt buckles, I got all of these for $10. Super score. Um, just waiting on the right buyers for those. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.